Hey Killer Bees, it's Paula B from PaulaBeeFitness.com and on tap today, it's day 28 of the Weight Loss for Women Over 50 series and today I have a great body weight strength and balance workout for us that I'm rather excited about. You guys, there is absolutely no jumping because there's no cardio, there's also no transitions to the ground and no equipment needed. So when you're ready for this one, I'm totally ready. Let's go. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and get moving and grooving. And that means that we're starting with the warm ups with arm circles. Oh, goody. And high knees. Yep, falling over on the very first one. And that bodes so well for a balance day, doesn't it? Actually, you know what? It kind of does. We talked about this recently. I don't remember what day it was, but here's the thing when that first one is off balance, what it need, means is that I need I need to focus. I need to get my head in the game. And I mean, that's fair because I'm I'm a little distracted. I'm actually really excited about today's workout, but I'm I'm having one of those days where my list of things to do is kind of long. And I realized as I was turning on the camera that I'm I'm kind of thinking about other things that I need to do. And for a balance workout, that's not smart. <laughs> I need to actually focus on what we're doing right now. And that is why I'm doing these warm-ups, you guys. This is honestly the nicest and most efficient way that I know how to get ready mentally and physically for a workout. These motions are so automatic, so simple, so just perfect for getting me ready to really focus and really think about what we're doing today. And what we're doing today is a whole lot of balance, my friend. Let's go ahead and do some arm crossers with booty kickers. So if you do ever open up the description box, and I highly encourage you to, there's all kinds of good information in there. There's the ebook that I've talked about numerous times about weight loss over 50. There's links to social media where you can find me on Facebook and Instagram, stuff like that. There's shopping information if I'm ever wearing something. Oh my gosh, like this shirt, for example, that you can go get on Amazon for yourself. There's all kinds of good stuff in there. There's also the list of exercises. And I will tell you, if you did read this list of exercises, you probably had a little disconnect in your head. Like, wait a second, these are all cardio exercises. And Paula just said, we're not doing cardio at all today. We're not. Today is body weight strength and balance. And my friends, let's do some welcome to my homes. Here's what it looks like. I've got the timer set for 20 seconds of work and 10 seconds of rest, which again, sounds so cardio. That's Tabata. I mean, that sounds like high intensity. And yet, I'm going to challenge you today, my friend. Some of my absolute favorite cardio exercises are significantly more difficult when we do them slowly. And that's what we're doing today. We are taking some low impact cardio exercises and taking them down, not just to a moderate notch, but all the way down to the point where they are actually almost yoga, <laughs> truly. We're moving so slow that it's gonna be tough. And I'm really excited about this. So don't let the timer throw you off. We are honestly, truly challenging ourselves to do the fewest amount of reps possible. And we're starting with letter K's, which as you know, means that we're going to have our hands up overhead. We're going to reach one hand down towards the opposite or no, the same rather kicking foot out to the side. And we're going to try and do as few of those as we can in 20 seconds. Now this is again, Tabata style, meaning that we're going to do this exact exercise Oh, do you feel that? <laughs> For three intervals in a row. Pull in your core, think about your muscles. Rotate your shoulder blades back and down. Get that biceps right next to your ear. Okay, well not right now, because we're resting for 10 seconds. Did you feel how different that was when it was strength rather than cardio? Yeah, not easier. We're using every muscle in your body. Out to the side. Out to the other side, find your balance. Hang there in the middle for a couple of seconds if you can. You're using your abs. Boy, oh boy, are we using our glutes on this one. And 10 seconds of rest. We've got one more of those letter Ks. And then that's it. This is like a repeating no repeat. We're gonna do each exercise three intervals, but in a row, and then we're moving on from it. So here we go with letter Ks for the last time. Focus. And think about what muscles you're using. Think about how everything has to work together and separately to find
find that exact point of balance. 10 seconds of rest coming up next. We're doing double knees again, cardio. No, not cardio at all. Hands are going to be up overhead again, really working those upper back and shoulder muscles today. We're going to bring up one knee two times while we bring our hands down and then stretch it out. Hands down, stretch it out. And then we switch sides. Knees to your end knees to your knee to your hands hands to your knee and oh that's about what I thought we would get done that was only one technically one rep on each side except that you know they're double knees so that was two I'm gonna start on the opposite side this time think about your shoulder blades think about your core pulled in tight think about your balance think about that standing leg knee is soft but strong I'm switching sides. How few of these can we get done? Squeeze those glutes. Oh my gosh. Nice. Really, really nice job. I know it feels weird. We're not doing a lot and yet we're doing a lot. <laughs> Here we go with the third and final time with these double knees. Squeeze and balance. Squeeze and balance and then switch side hands are still up thinking about those shoulder blades thinking about that core thinking about that soft but strong knee <sighs> thinking about breathing very nice coming up next we're doing wide open kicks hands are going to be at chest height straight out in front of you one arm is going to open out while that same leg kicks out to the side so holding your hand up at shoulder height we're going back and forth between our legs squeezing from your chest to keep your hand at shoulder height squeezing from your glutes and your core oh my gosh to get that leg Whew, out to the side awesome job today today isn't traditionally sweaty I mean I'm, I'm feeling a little sweaty already this is difficult work but it's so unusual and I think that's really appropriate for everything that we're learning this month about how to lose weight at this age. It's unusual. It's different. It's outside our comfort zone. It's so much harder than we thought. That was two of them done. Oh my gosh. I'm really feeling my inner thighs. That sidekick when it's not cardio really works everything as strength. Here we go for the third and final time. Opening up as wide as you can, pulling from the middle of your back, thinking about your shoulder blades, contrasting with your chest muscles, holding one arm forward and bringing one arm back, going across your body, pulling in that core, squeezing from the side of your glute simultaneously. Okay, you guys, coming up next, we're doing frog reaches. Feet are going to be wider than hip width apart. In fact, it's pretty significantly wider than hip width apart. We're coming all the way down in a deep, deep, deep squat as low as you can go. Oh, how's that feel? And then we're coming all the way up and reaching up hands or excuse me, biceps right next to your ears. Let your body sink down, 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 down into this squat. You might not be as low as me. That's totally okay. Wherever you can get to where, I mean, this is work. That was our first interval. This is work, but you don't have any standard to meet for this work. You're doing what you can do as best as you can do it. Come down, 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 down. Let your body feel that squat. Oh my gosh, head is up, chest is out, hips go back before they come down as low as they can and then reaching up as high as you can. And then coming down, 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 down. Oh my gosh, speaking of inner thighs. <laughs> that was two of those done. <gasps> okay, okay. I knew this was gonna be tough. <laughs> I, you know, I don't actually practice these workouts before we do them. It might surprise you to know. I know what we're doing. I know what the exercises are, but oh my goodness. I don't put them all together like this. And so, I mean, I'm doing this workout for the first time just like you. This is our last one. Doggies. Okay. Okay. Coming up next. That was... That was good stuff. Coming up next is toy soldiers. Hands overhead. This time we're reaching our opposite hand towards our opposite kicking foot as slowly. Oh, do you feel how hard that is to bring your leg up just a little bit higher than you want to? That squeeze in your thigh. 
So good for your knees, by the way, to work your quads like that. Ooh, golly, okay. There's a lot going on in that one. We're thinking about our core. We're thinking about squeezing from our thigh. We're thinking about our neck, leg standing soft but strong. We're thinking about our shoulder blades, once again, pulled back and down the entire time. Biceps right next to your ear. If I had to guess where I'm gonna feel this work tomorrow, it's probably in my upper and middle back. This kind of squeezing, is a lot, it really is. Oh my gosh, two of those done. What a good job you're doing. It's different, I know, this whole month has been, this whole month has been outside our comfort zone. Here's our third and final interval with these toy soldiers, hips pointed forward, core pulled in tight, trying super, super hard not to curl forward into this, but rather to just bring that leg up with your abs and your quads, awesome, awesome job. Last one, all right, all right, coming up next. Forward hinge arm flappers. Again, cardio, right? No, no, this is deadlifts. So we're gonna start with our hands up as we come down. It's a deadlift, my friend. Think about your back staying super duper straight. Think about your core pulled in super duper tight. Think about your hips squeezing to bring your torso back up. This is all glutes, all hamstrings, all middle of your back. It's what we call your rear chain. Okay, 10 seconds of rest. Gonna do that exact same thing again. I know, it's different today. Different is good, my friend. My sister had this motto. She would say, no change is good change. <laughs> she was not a fan of doing something different. <laughs> And I think about that all the time when I try and do something different that feels uncomfortable, it feels weird, it feels different. That was two intervals done. And sometimes some changes, some changes are good. Some changes we're trying to do on purpose. Here we go, third and final time. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze those glutes when you push your hips back. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze those glutes when you pull your hips forward. Feeling this work in your shoulder blades, once again, they are rotated down and back. <sighs> Core is pulled in so tight. Okay, okay, 10 seconds of rest, coming up next. We're doing booty kicker elbow swings. I, I gotta be honest, this one is the one that I think I'm gonna have a hard time doing slowly. <sighs> Swing and feel that work when you pull your arms back. This is triceps work, and we're stretching out those quads that we just worked, but oh, squeezing from those hamstrings. Nice job. Okay, I felt that like right here at my bra strap. That is, that is a good place to work that we don't always focus on or concentrate on. So really thinking about that area of your body, pulling your shoulder blades together to bring your elbows back. <sighs> Great job, slow and controlled. We're balancing, so your core is pulled in tight. Oh my goodness, 10 seconds of rest. Thinking really hard about my upper body is actually helping my lower body balance better than I think it would have otherwise. <laughs> Maybe this is the trick to balance, who knew, right? <laughs> Squeeze from your shoulder blades. Really thinking about that standing knee being soft but strong. Thinking about both knees being right next to each other. Really pulling up as high as you can with that foot coming all the way to your booty if you can kick your own booty. Awesome job, my friends. Coming up next. Dancing X's, we're going across the body here. Hands are wide, feet are wide. We're bringing your opposite elbow towards your opposite knee, crunching in the middle. So really squeezing, oh, all the way while tipping yourself off balance laterally. Okay, I was wrong, this is the hardest one. I, we're getting low on my list, you can tell. Squeeze all the way in the middle. Whew, awesome job, okay, 10 seconds of rest. You know, I knew that this 20 seconds was gonna make us feel like we had to hustle through. And I know that we're not getting a ton of reps done. That's on purpose. Thinking 
really hard about getting this work done and really squeezing all the way to the middle, actually touching your elbow and your knee, actually pulling in your core. 20 seconds is about all we can focus on that kind of stuff. It's why we have that 10 seconds of rest in the middle whew, so that you can let your core out, so that you can kind of relax your shoulders and shake everything out a little bit. Coming up next is the last interval with those dancing X's. And here we go, my friend. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Finding that balance of how far you can tip over without falling over. Keeping the other hand up means you're working the middle of your back again. Oh my gosh, this is why your shoulders are sore sometimes after we do cardio. <laughs> I know you've noticed it before, but now it's really, really clear. 10 seconds of rest and then coming up next. We're doing side step, side bends. So we're starting with our feet together and as we step out to the side, we're bending all the way over. Now, to be fair, I did this one just a couple of days ago, I think, and I told you at the time that it wasn't cardio. This is, this is not necessarily a cardio move, but it could be. In fact, I'm pretty sure it will be at some point in time in the future, but right now it is all strength. Okay, really feeling that work in your abs and obliques, really feeling even the step out, focusing on squeezing from your glutes, really, really highlights the inner and outer thigh and how much your hip complex does a lot of work for us when we take just a simple step. Excellent job thinking about keeping whew, that core pulled in tight. Well, not right now. Right now, we don't have to have anything pulled in tight. Coming up next is our third and final interval with those side step side bends. And here we go. Up and over. How far can you get? What can you do? What can you pull back from? How can you use those abs effectively? Squeeze and focus. Oh my gosh. Squeeze and focus. Okay, okay, 10 seconds of rest. Coming up next, we're doing middle skips. Again, I think this one's gonna be hard for me to slow down, except for the fact that, well, no, it is gonna be hard for me to slow down because hand up, Knee up, opposite hand, opposite knee. This one is so much fun when it's a cardio move that I think the hardest part for me is just that I want to go fast because it's fun. Oh my gosh, and I want to go fast so that I don't fall over. <laughs> 10 seconds of rest. You know, that is the real trick. And I know you're feeling it today. We often compensate for slightly less fantastic balance. Here we go, middle skips. For less fantastic balance by just going faster. When you go faster, you don't notice that you're kind of halfway falling out of some of these poses. Standing leg is soft but strong, pulling that biceps all the way up to your ear. 10 seconds of rest coming up next. It's our last one with those. Yeah, I know, <laughs> I know. These aren't getting easier, but it's okay. I don't have very many more. In fact, coming up next is our last one. Whoo, doggies. Really pulling that arm all the way up, opening up your chest, using your chest muscles and your back muscles to bring that arm all the way up, using your abs and glutes to bring that knee up. Excellent job. Okay, coming up next is cheerleader kicks. That means that we're gonna have our elbows out to the side, hands start here at your shoulders. As our hands go up, one leg, comes up. Yes, there's no resting position for your arms. Elbow is out in that same plane as the rest of your body with your hands right next to your ears and then straight up overhead. It means that we are squeezing, squeezing, squeezing from those back muscles the entire interval Whew, while simultaneously pulling in your core, pulling from your quads, using your abs, standing on one leg. It's a lot and that's why it's the last exercise. Hands up. And here we go, cheerleader, yay! Like super slow off balance cheerleader. <laughs> you are doing such a good job with this very, very unusual workout today, my friend. <sighs> yes, two of them done. Remember to breathe, especially when we do this 10 second interval for rest. 
take a nice deep breath because some of us mm, are holding our breath while we're trying to balance. So please don't be holding your breath, <sighs> making sure that you're focused and squeezing. <sighs> Standing leg is soft but strong. I can't wait to do all of these fast again, huh? <sighs> you guys, we're done, but we're not quite finished. You knew that. <laughs> Coming up next, it is our last thing. It's one interval on each side. We're reaching low and kicking high. So we're reaching our opposite hand towards our opposite foot. And then as we come up, we're kicking high. This is all on one side. Reaching down ever so slowly, kicking forward with balance. If you can do this without tapping down, well, you could have. <laughs> 10 seconds of rest, we're gonna do that exact same thing on the other side. And then we will be better than done. We will be finished. This is the last interval of the last thing. I actually probably can do this one without tapping that back foot down. We'll see. This is my allegedly stronger leg. Sometimes it's actually stronger, sometimes it's not. You never know. Today, today, because I reminded myself to really focus, my balance wasn't, wasn't that bad. And I'm gonna say it now because we're done. I'm turning off the timer. Oh my gosh, my friends, you survived that. That was, that was a lot, I know. Let's go ahead and do some arm circles in a really relaxed and gentle way. I know we've had our hands up for a lot of this workout. Actually doing arm circles almost feels like more work, but here's what I want you to do is rather than focusing on the pulling back, which is what I normally do, I actually kind of want you to focus on pulling forward. Go ahead and stretch out those back muscles. Ordinarily when we're doing this as our warm up, I really want you to stretch out your chest muscles. We spend so much time hunched over our phones and so I really want you to be able to stretch out your chest. But right now, stretching out your chest feels like more work on your back. So as you come forward, really almost roll your shoulders forward so that you can stretch out those back muscles. What a great, great job you did today. I hope that you enjoyed this very unusual workout today, my friends. This workout enjoyed you, just so you know, whether, whether you enjoyed it or not, this one was so good for you. Let's go ahead and do some arm openers and arm closers, that big, big hug. Give yourself a big hug, a good pat on the back, and a thank you. Thank you for making it all the way through. I know, I know sometimes you're unconvinced <laughs> that these workouts are gonna help you lose weight when we move slowly. We're not burning a lot of calories, it's not cardio. But my friend, just because it's different doesn't mean it's bad. Lots of times different is exactly what you need to get results. Up here on screen, you are gonna have a longer cool down available to you. If you don't see it on screen, it is in the description. Again, open up the description box. So much good stuff there, including a link to the other things that I tell you about. On the other side of the screen is the playlist that has what's going to have all 31 of the videos right now. There's 28 of them, but at the end of the month, there will be all 31 for you to use and enjoy as many times as you want to. On the bottom of the screen is a letter P. That's an invitation to go over to Patreon, where a monthly pledge from you helps me make free workouts for all of us. And thank you so much for that. On the other side of the screen is a picture of me. That's actually a subscribe button. And what that means when you click that and the bell notification is that YouTube will let you know every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for working out with me today. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you tomorrow.